Hello friends, family, and countrymen, Nicholas here. So listen, I'm not a racist, but I don't actually have anything to say after that. But did you feel the tension? Like, did you get a little tense as I said that? Did you feel like, oh no, he's about to say something racist? That's one of the craziest things about that's a crazy thing about um, the English language, but language in general, is the idea behind I'm not racist, but is that you're about to say something racist, but you don't want people to think you're racist. That's one of the stupidest things that like exists, but it exists for a reason, because at one point, people were like, well, if I say that I'm not a racist, but I say racist things, I can get away with it as long as I say I'm not a racist. And it worked for a little while. It did. And then everyone was like, well, wait a second. You're just trying to hide your racism, your horrible racism, by saying you're not a racist. That makes you even more racist. Like, you are blatantly admitting that you're a racist, and then lying about it at the same time. I think that's some that's a phrase that needs to be excluded from the future of language. Another another phrase like that, not that should be excluded, but another phrase that when it's said, it builds tension, it, it causes uh, feelings to stir is if you're in a relationship when someone says we need to talk um, now that can be many things many many things um, but a lot of the time statistically probably um, it means that the the other person the person that said we need to talk wants to break up which sucks um, but your mind kind of knows and it's it's something that's played around a lot with in um, in movies and television shows uh, where they'll pull the rug from underneath their eyes where they're like we need to talk did you steal my bath soap I don't know <laughs> I could not think of a an actual thing so that's what my poor mind came up with Oh, man. But yeah. I think that that's a cool thing about language, about inclination and tone and the phrasing that we use. Because just adding words to those phrases changes the phrase completely. Um, or even taking words away. You say, I'm not a racist, and that's the end of that sentence. That's it. It's about to rain, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna quickly finish this. Um, we need to talk. If you add words to it, we need to talk about the groceries. Boom! Completely different sentence. And I think that's one of the, a very cool thing about language. I can't see anything. It's raining too hard. I hope you guys can hear me well. All right, I'm gonna sign off. Is that something people say still? Hey guys, gonna sign off. I think that was someone on YouTube saying at one point. But yeah. Alright, I will talk to you guys later. Do you guys have a phrase that you guys hear and they're like, oh geez. Or can you make up a new phrase? That would be something cool. We can try that out. If there are any good phrases, like the word Rufus. Uh, which was a slang term apparently in the 80s, and I freaking love it. It means cool or awesome. Um, I'll use it in a video at some point. Why not? So I will talk to you guys later. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.